dear friends good evening welcome to this uh, video and today we are bringing up uh, this topic uh, interviews look at the title topic useful tips for interviews the important points you have got to keep in mind uh, before you attend uh, any interview any interview look at the first one this is something very very important self care while the interview is in progress if you don't know the answer of your particular question if you cannot answer be honest enough to say i am sorry i don't know so or i don't know madam i am sorry i don't know the answer don't waste your time on their time also sometimes they might get irritated and annoyed please say i am sorry i don't know the answer so but the second one make sure your voices are distinctly audible don't mumble your words sometimes certain people make up the words deliberately inaudible doesn't serve any purpose so make sure the voice is uh, clearly distinctly audible look at the next one it goes without saying i am sure you will do that once the interview is over before you leave uh, thank everybody over there with a smile thank everybody over there with a smile good enough i have come up with a few points uh, yesterday in fact we discussed this and discussed this also i was orally telling you now you find these uh, in writing you find this in writing in any interview your leadership skills and your communication skills uh, are very important to express yourself to bring out what you have in mind you need to have effective communication skills and leadership skills every employer wants his employee to be a very good leader to lead from the front let us see the qualities uh, the skills or the qualities that a leader should possess look at the first one taking the initiative yes i will do it i can do it if not in 3 days let me take one more day i will certainly do it taking the initiative and being responsible once you take the initiative you got to prove yourself that you are responsible you should uh, come forward to take up the responsibilities involved because uh, the other people the team members uh, will rely upon you for each and everything look at the next one having organizational skills you have got to have being a leader because other people will be extremely dependent upon you you have got to go about guiding guiding them and directing them organizing each and everything willing to listen to others that's very important in any communication listening also plays an important role it is not only a question of what talking on and down you should be willing to listen to the other people both together form a communication it's not just only one way talking on and down continuously non stop listening also and responding to them accordingly so be willing to listen to other people and take decisions accordingly look at the next one motivating the other groups i mean the members in your group sometimes they might feel diffident less confident you have got to identify such people and you have got to motivate them whatever may be your problem come to me i will guide you i am with you don't worry don't worry be courteous what an important uh, point it is generally leaders uh, tend to boss around 
generally leaders tend to buzz around and they might even sound a bit arrogant but be courteous only then you can expect the people to get along well with you and being friendly and approachable don't ever gossip don't ever be rude to your team members be friendly with them make sure give an impression that you are easily approachable then of course uh, whatever problems they might have uh, they will come to you they will come to you okay so the about the leadership skills presence of mind is also very important i will give an example in each and every class particularly with about to reacting to a given situation so far i have given two examples today i will give you an example in a car making company manufacturing company for the first time they got an order for uh, manufacturing buses they were very happy they went into all the necessary details and finally uh, the product was out and uh, as the first bus was moving out it hit the roof of the entrance the roof of the bus hit to the roof of the entrance it was a big shock what to do everybody over there did not know how to react to this situation the watchman over there who was watching observing all this came up to them and suggested something shall i tell you something please uh, deflate the tires bring down the pressure of the tires the height of the bus will come down by 1 to 1 and a half inches then i am sure you should be able to move out the bus very easily they were all shell shocked totally surprised they didn't know how to react it was a doable suggestion business idea like as suggested by the watchman they in fact to brought down the tire pressure by 1 and 1/2 to 2 inches and then it was easy for them to take the bus out see look from where the idea had come so that evening they arranged for a small party and they gave him as uh, a token of uh, gratitude a check for 20000 rupees nobody thought that such an idea would exist in his mind okay presence of mind leadership skills so all these are so when you prepare for any interviews and uh, you have got to keep all these in mind uh, you can even come up with some examples okay now this one i am sure i discussed with you i had discussed with you but still you find this on the board because i thought it should be in written form in case there are some candidates preparing for a upsc uh, exams or interviews of course uh, they have other sources also to attend or listen to but still as far as i have observed describe yourself certain to come certain to come in any interview the second one reacting to a given situation reacting to a given situation they will come up with a situation and they will expect you as to how you are going to respond or react one more example i will give you recently in a mock interview the interviewer asked the is a candidate rather uh, the ips candidate there are two incidents uh, which have taken place one is uh, an acid attack on a girl school going girl 
and the other one is uh, a mob is lynching a man Who, what is a mob a violent crowd is lynching a man so where would you go where would you go to and she said as for this girl the victim of acid attack i will send my subordinates whereas as for the other one yes it might turn out to be a communal clash so i need to be uh, personally over there i have got to see to it that the situation is brought under control so smart like this they will give you a situation expecting you to react okay next one any three things about your state tamil nadu or karnataka or kerala and so on mostly what they mean by this question is what do the people in your state to do for their livelihood what do the people do for their livelihood you can say anything take for example the tamil nadu mostly agriculture because there are quite a few rivers are flowing uh, through the state but unfortunately now there is no water at all anywhere okay in summer it is usually dry otherwise in other seasons uh, there will always be water uh, flowing through or flowing by so generally agriculture paddy sugarcane bananas and so on also you can say hosur being uh, uh, close to bangalore and it is an industrial town where they manufacture um, uh, vehicles two wheelers three wheelers four wheelers it is an industrial town or if it were to be gujarat perhaps you can say that uh, most people are uh, involved in exporting gems gem stones okay that is it and what do you do in your free time what do you do in your free time i said in fact uh, if you have if you are doing something useful which is beneficial to the society they will like it they will like it try to be honest otherwise uh, make it uh, look like being honest okay like uh, i take free classes for uh, the poor students in my area and i do help the poor people no the people at home in the household work okay some such at times i watch tv do a bit of reading listen to music and all that okay these four questions are mandatory will be compulsorily asked uh, in ips upsc upsc interviews okay now i have completed uh, i am highly hopeful i am highly confident i have done justice uh, to this topic tips for interviews and what are the likely questions uh, uh, which will be asked uh, in any interviews and now in the next class uh, we will take up vocabulary how to enrich build up your vocabulary having because very very important for your communication skills you need words to express yourself otherwise you get stuck okay we will see that in the next class thank you very much please if you like this video refer to i mean forward it to share it with your friends